everyone so it's march 21st brandon here so as you can see i'm gonna show you the weather right here but it's we're getting um in the 40s 50s and 60s now this week so the cold snapped over for now um it's not gonna be below freezing for at least a week so what we're going to show you is some wheat colonies we have in the apiary some strong colonies we have in the apiary and then we're going to show you a little bit of equalizing so the whole importance of this is if you have um multiple hives instead of treating each hive as an individual we're going to equalize the whole yard treat everybody the same so that way we're not sitting here second guessing was this a strong colony is this a weaker colony we're going to equalize and kind of show you a strong colony and a weak colony so we're just going to jump right in here um so again with it being march already so we're having dandelions starting to bloom uh it's the 50s now but it still looks dark um so the whole goal is we have pollen on them we have some uh sugar water on them and we'll show you the strong colony what it looks like so smoke the top smoke the bottom a little bit we'll kind of get into these here so we're gonna walk up to here we'll show you what this colony is looking like now so <clears throat> moisture board's working good take that off here so oh this is amazing awesome so we put the sugar in one to one here we put one gallon in so as you can see they're all stacked up here um they're working every single frame here so we're gonna do a quick glance make sure our queen's not up here and then we'll get just get kind of right into it i like to put these on the front because all the bees can walk back in if they please but if not and then they can just kind of hang out there so Awesome. We'll take this apart. Okay. So again, the goal is just to see how many frames of brood we have. This is one of our stronger colonies that we've shown you before. So I'm going to take this off. I don't like to do it like that. If I was smart, when you put your lid down, you caddy the lid in the box. So that way you're not smashing as many bees if you do it that way. So if you come over here, you can see here. So we're working about eight frames, not the edges. Have some brood here, some uh, drone comb going on. So that tells us they're starting to uh, rear some drones. Um, so that means they're about time, about 24 days, we'll start raising some queens here. Um, we already seen some, uh, we've already seen some drones in here, so we're not going to wait exactly 24 days. But anyways, so we'll fast forward through all this. Break this hive up here so we're just going to see kind of how many frames of eggs they got going on i want to see the queen so we can mark her this is an older frame i should probably mark to take this out All right, so I was going through and examine, see what's drone comb, what's not. So this looks like drone comb here, as you see some drones. So if you walk up here, look, look how big those drones are. Wow, absolutely huge. So that's perfect. So what we'll do is give them about another seven to ten days. If we wanted to rear some queens. Now would be the time to do it because we have drones walking out now. So amazing. And you can see bees hatching as we speak here. In this hive tool here so this would be a perfect frame to donate if we want to donate a frame because they're hatching out i don't see her laying back in this yet so this would be a perfect frame to give if we were going to give a frame away nice young bees so this was the strong colony we showed you before this was the one that had five frames of five frames of brood and uh what i consider a good donor honestly if we equalize this yard to have three or four frames of brood each then that would be perfect so right now they're turning over the nest from the winter nest to the spring nest so that would be perfect right now we, we gotta find our queens to mark them okay so they're looking good here you can see the little brood here and there so this is all come up and she's relayed back into this so all this brew that we saw last week has emerged and has now filled this box and that box. So, they're two frames strong right now. They're building drones, or not two frames, two boxes strong now. Building drones. So, the next step is we got to be aware of queen cells. So, as you can see down here, queen cell right here. 
So the question is, is they shouldn't be working it, which they're not there. And then as you can see, all oh, even the queen, all perfect. So queen cells here, no queen or no egg in it. The queen's right here. So we're going to pause this video real quick and we're going to mark the queen. We got another good frame here. So we marked the queen. So she's on this frame right here, right here in the middle. So she's got one, two, three frames of eggs and larvae and cat brood. So this is a, a, a frame of cat brood that we can take. And everything we know that we're working away from her, so she's not going to be not going to be on the frame if we want to give one of these away. So, and we got her marked nice and blue now. So that's great. And look, as you can see here, if you want to get closer, look at these huge drones. Oh, that's a giant drum. It's amazing. So we just let the bees tell us when we want to raise queens. So maybe after we're done equalizing, we'll uh, do some queen ring videos. That'd be. Leave a comment if you'd like to see some queen ring. Queen ring videos. I definitely would love to make some of those. I love grafting. So, okay, another good one. So, she's, she, these are emerging, these bees here. So, these look like paper. So, this would be a great, great frame to give away as they're emerging. So, got two good donor frames here. So, we're going to, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the video and we're going to go to uh, show you what a week, week I looks like. <laughs> All right, so we saw her on this frame here, marked her. These two are cat brood emerging. So we're going to take these two out, move some empty frames in, give her some space to work, and then uh, we'll condense the boxes back down to three or four frames of brood. So that's perfect setup. All right, so we got our two frames of brood here. So as you see down here, we got our two frames of brood here. So what we're going to do is this is the wheat colony that we had last time we showed you. As they were a little smaller, Little, you know, two, maybe two frames of brood. So we'll show you what they look like now. You take a look. They're looking pretty good. So th those two frames look like they merged. But now what we're going to do is we're really going to boost them. So they're about probably five solid frames. I know they're over here, but this is going to give that perfect boost for th this little colony that we showed you was two frames, two frames of brood about a week ago. So. What we're going to do is open them up even more. This will be perfect. Give them a give them a solid solid frame of brood. It's going to boost them completely. So we're going to open this up here. Mm -mm -mm. Still stuck. Okay. Not too shabby. Put this down. So if you want to take one more look at this here, you can just see how they're covering this middle here, they're covering this middle part, but it's not like they're flowing over on all sides. So we really want them to boost. So we're gonna first evaluate this queen. So when you're boosting a colony, don't just say, oh, okay. I mean, I could just be, I could just say, okay, this colony's weak. We're gonna throw a frame in there and call it good. Or what I'm gonna do is make sure she's deserving of the rewards or the um, basically the boost of the asset we're giving her. So I'm going to actually evaluate this hive instead of just blindly give her uh, extra bees. Because there could be an issue with her where she's like not laying well. Um, or maybe it's a population problem where she doesn't have enough bees for coverage. But if she's trying to expand that brood nest, then we'll, be, we'll reward her with extra bees. So let's take a look here. So first thing we do is look. And we see that there's honey on the outside. So unlikely she's working this. So we'll put this over here. Mm -mm -mm. So what I like to do is just get right to the heart of the heart of the colony. So we're just gonna open her up. So as we can see here, I see drones. I see uh, some capped, some uncapped. When I look in there. I don't. I see some larvae. I see some eggs. She's around here somewhere. I see emerging. I've, as you can see, a lot of emerging bees. They're even crawling out as we speak. So they're trying to boost their population here. What I'm trying to find is her laying pattern. So let's see where she's at. So we take a look. Yeah, this is all is all emerged. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of eggs or larvae on this one either. I see a lot of eggs actually on this. So she is trying to, a nice little pattern actually. Wow. 
So all of this, it's hard to see, I know. But as these are merging, this is all eggs. This is all laid up in. So she is trying to expand this brood nest. She'll be on this frame, even be on this frame here. That's perfect. So she's trying to expand the brood nest. Gorgeous pattern. So it was a, it looks like it was a population problem. So what we're going to do is um, set one of these frames. So we are going to reward her. She's laying a great pattern. Now that the population is starting to build up, it looks like she's now trying to emphasize her pattern. Uh, they can keep it warm. So she is trying to expand this brood nest. So in saying that, we are going to put to one of those frames of brood right down the middle so they can keep it warm. So the frame of brood itself actually keeps itself warm. So it's not going to be a problem with emerging. The bees will gel just fine. Um, with them emerging, with them emerging, they're not, there's not going to be an issue with them fighting, following a queen. There usually never is. But look at that. It's a full frame of bees walking around. Great frame. See, they're keeping it warm, so we're going to get this in there quick. And then, uh, then we'll come back in about 7 to 10 days and see after these emerge if, uh, if she's doing good, then you a second box or anything like that. So, perfect. We'll add this in. That's fantastic. Nice and slow because this, this frame is boiling with bees. Look at that. It's boiling up top. Perfect. So, so we've shown you a strong hive. We've shown you a weaker hive, and we're kind of equalizing. So, so this is a small hive. We'll check in seven, ten days. Um, as you can see, that other one had three. That other one had two boxes of bees. So they're not worried at all about keeping it warm because they have too much. They're building queen cups. They have plenty of drones. And this one, on the other hand, has built a little bit of drones, but they are just we're just struggling in population. So we're gonna put a palm patty on them. We've given them some little one to one. We'll come back in seven, ten days after the. The weather has got to hot again. So if they don't and continue to increase that brood nest, then there's an issue. So last thing we want is for them to go backwards after uh, they turn over this brood nest from a winter nest to a spring nest. So uh, we're going to cut to another small hive. Um, if you're enjoying the video, hit the like. Uh, subscribe as we go through our first year journey here. So we've been keeping bees for four years. This is our first year journey on YouTube. So if you want to, leave a like, subscribe, uh, ask questions. Or just say how you equalize your hives. So we're going to cut to another small hive here. And uh, we'll just kind of show you another one. How we're going to boost it up. So another small hive. So we made a, a pretty late split last year. Probably the end of July. Um, we just honestly tried to combine them. Didn't give them enough time. Um, so they had a little softball size cluster. They're pretty small. Um, so we'll get close here and take a look at these gals. Um, so I say they were small, but they're actually bigger than I think they were. So nice little cluster. I actually moved this feeder here in more to reduce the space. See how they have space here to work. So about a one, two, three, probably a three frame, three frames of bees here. I mean, she survived winter, so I mean that's that's all we can ask of her here in Ohio with a couple of cold snaps. Um, we just honestly didn't give her enough time to really develop her nest and build build up. So now they're a little weaker. So I'm gonna evaluate them just like I did the other one. We're gonna I wanna boost her, I really do. But is she deserving of being boosted? Is the question. I'm not gonna just blindly boost the colony and waste resources for no reason. So frame, my goodness. So honey, so that's not not too bad. They had sugar water, but did they have the bees? Is she laying a good pattern? Is it just a population problem? And I see capped, cat brood here. I see brood emerging. Mm -mm -mm. See some moisture. But I don't see her yet laying back in this. Check this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see eggs, larva, tight pattern. Perfect. It's windy, so um. These are emerging here, just so you see. There's a really tight pattern here in the middle of the brood nest. So I'm going to put them back in. So she gets a check mark by me. Tight pattern, tight pattern, small population. She's trying her best for what she has. So to me, that's that's a check mark. Okay, she's doing her best for a small population. Let's give her a boost of deserving here. So, so again, I'm going to show you a donor con, a donor frame. So they're a little cold, so I apologize for that. But 
It's hard to see because they're hugging the brood. But there's brood at the bottom of this. And see how it looks like paper? That means it's going to emerge soon. Which is perfect because we want them to get that instant boost. They're just hugging this frame. Look at this. All these bees. And they're grabbing on because they have nothing else to do but keep it warm. So we're going to give them some room here. Mm -mm. 14 days or less. We know it's for sure 14 days, but I'd say a week. They would have this out. Extra bees immediately to help with the laying. So that'll keep it warm. They'll emerge. I'd say about a frame or two of bees. And then, see, they're getting a little spicy because they are, it's cold out here. So we're going to keep this nice and tight so they don't build bird comb. We're going to leave that frame out because I want her to be able to, they'll, they'll, they'll be just fine. I'm not going to add anything else. But as you can see, if you have small colonies coming out of winter and you have some, some strong ones, do them a favor and boost them up. Don't just let the small ones take forever building back up. Because the more you can ramp it up, give them three, give them a frame of uh, brood, equalize. Not only does that help equalize the weak ones um, and build them up quicker for the honey flow, it knocks down your bigger ones. As you can see, they were building uh, swarm cups. Now, it doesn't mean they're using them, but they're, they're building them, which is a sign. So they had drone brood, we're building queen, queen cups. Next step is for her to lay in it, and they, they have queen cells. So we knocked them down, boosted this one up. We'll come about seven to ten days. If they need it again, we'll give them another one. But that's just basically equalizing here at the end of March. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. If not, please give us a like, as I think we're doing a pretty good job out here making videos. So we're going to keep trying, follow along, and uh, we'll see you next time.